Uh, it's always all too much when Julie Tavoli <laughs> stops by here in Bridge Street. And we're cooking Swiss chard. And Swiss chard, we're saying during yes. the commercial break, it's in season. It's in season, and it's a wonderful vegetable, wonderful green. I love greens in particular, and I know a lot of people sometimes don't necessarily know what to do with Swiss chard. Yeah, what's you know? some Swiss chard 101? There's two different kinds, right? Right, we have the green Swiss chard and the bright lights Swiss chard, okay. which basically is these beautiful multicolored um, oh, wow. leaves, actually. You know, you got this nice kind of fuchsia color going on and a beautiful golden yellow and white, so it's very pretty, yeah, you know? It is. Um, and what we're going to do today is two signature Middle Eastern Lebanese dishes. One is called Sillet, which is stuffed um, Swiss chard leaves, similar okay. to grape leaves. Okay. Uh, grape leaves are in season in June, so this is what we make in the springtime. And we're also going to use the stalks of the leaves to make a side dish as well. Okay. So we're using the entire leaf. So I was going to start off by just showing how to actually... Um, take the vein out of the leaf. So you're basically, you're, you're gutting the leaf. I'm <laughs> gutting the leaf. <laughs> well, <is> Sorry, not, <laughs> leaf. That's all right. I'm being gentle, though. At least I'm going to use the entire vegetable. Well, that's right, yes. <laughs> and then we're going to just slice it down the center here. Okay. And essentially, we're taking out the, the vein here because we want to try to get as many segments out of each leaf as possible to roll. Are you looking for a large leaf when you're doing this type of... Yes, definitely. You want to try to find really nice, large, plush leaves okay. because ideally, you want to try to get at least two to three segments out of each um, side of the leaf. Okay. So I'm just cutting it like so. And there you go, we got three right there. And you got another three right here. Okay. And each bunch usually has about six to seven, you know, stalks. So essentially you get about 21 or so, you know, oh, wow. okay. segments. So they look like this, and then you're gonna lightly blanch them just to wilt them enough to... And blanch them is to put them quickly in hot water? Quickly in hot water for like no more than 10 seconds. You pop them out, put them in some cold water to okay. stop the cooking. Yep. And let's go, we can uh, start to roll one here. And what are we putting in? Now this mix is similar to our grape leaf mix, but we have chickpeas in it as well. So you're going so down at the bottom. You're going down at the bottom just a little bit. And we have, um, this is rice, we've got parsley, mint, scallions, garlic, lemon juice, and olive oil. And we're just going to roll it and tuck in the sides oh, as we go. Sides. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You can always start over. Well, this is a good a, a good cue to talk about some of the classes you're teaching. Right. Um, what's going on in Marcellus? I started a spring series called Spring Sensations um, last week in Marcellus where we're using all in season. That looks great. I would have failed your class. No, <laughs> that looks really good. <laughs> um, and uh, I actually have a class tomorrow in Marcellus and, um, so and the teaching? following Wednesday. Um, tomorrow I'm doing uh, dandelion greens, which are my oh, favorite. Yeah. Those are, you know what? I love dandelion when I was, greens. Uh, before I was uh, not as refined in my yeah. days, I used to oh no, dandelion greens, that, those are weeds. <laughs> yeah. You know, but they're very good they're in salads. They're so good. Yeah. You know, I like the, the slight, yeah, I'm going to have you keep on rolling here. So the key um, here is, a, sorry, to put the sides in. The, yeah, you want to tuck, kind of tuck and roll. <laughs> tuck and roll. <laughs> tuck, like, you know, get the mixture underneath and then. That, like and fire then, safety? Exactly. <laughs> and then keep on tucking the sides in as you go along. Okay. And then you get these little, you know. So uh, this class you're, you're, yes. you're teaching, you're talking about dandelion greens? Dandelion or? greens. Okay. Um, that's one of my favorite. I was I was saying, um, you know, it does have a slight kind of bitterness to it, but it's it's really pleasant to me. I like that bite that the dandelion greens have. So I'm doing that tomorrow with stuffed cabbage rolls, actually. Mm. Um, and then the following week, I'm doing um, green beans called lubia. Uh, it's another, it's basically a side side dish of green beans that uh, okay. is very classic in Lebanese culture. And how can people uh, want to, there's a room from the class? Yeah, there's room. They can sign up with the Marcellus Free Library and um, contact them to sign up for the class. Great. And we'll stick around. We're going to sample these yes. as we uh, head That's through the rest of the show. Well, recipes absolutely. on the web, 9wsyr.com, as well as information, I think, how to get to your class, which right. would be very helpful for me how to roll these right. properly. <laughs> All right. Coming up next here on Bridge Street, we're talking about a great program that gets people into uh, economic stability, moves people, 100 people, from poverty, poverty to prosperity. That's coming up next. <laughs> I like anything with lemon. Yeah, it's okay. delicious. And we were talking about this side dish here that Julie's prepared. Julie, these are the stems from the Swiss chard. Exactly, yes. These are the stems from the Swiss chard leaves, and we boil them just so they're tender. And we finish them off with uh, some nice lemon juice, olive Ooh. oil, and green garlic, mm -hmm. a little bit of salt. And it's actually just wow. it's surprisingly delicious. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, it's yeah. really nice. So we use the entire, uh, entire Swiss chard leaf with this whole entire... 
dish. Because otherwise they're pretty stiff if you don't if you don't boil them down. Exactly. The stems, you want to cut those out anyway. Yeah. And the Swiss chard is a part, a part of the Swiss family of Swiss cheese. Right. And Swiss. <laughs> exactly. Um, right. <laughs> no, no. Clearly you weren't paying attention. Um, I, I, it's not, That's okay. But no, these um <laughs> and these not to be mistaken for grape leaves. Right. It is Swiss chard. It is Swiss chard, and, and it's again, delicious. Actually. Thank you so much. And they're you know wonderful room temperature, um, cold. You know, traditionally we serve it that way. Obviously, you can have them hot as well, but uh, they're very versatile. You know, finger food too, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. I've had Entertaining about, uh, and things five like or that. six of them. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Chris has it. I'm going to finish mine now, so you wrap it up. Okay. That's it for Bridge Street. See you tomorrow morning. <laughs>